Hello everyone, welcome back to AI Webix. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about variable. Like what is variable? A variable, a variable is like a container where we store information to use later in our code. In this lesson, we will explore one of the core building blocks of Python that is data types. Just like everything around us has a type, number, text or logic, Python also needs to understand what kind of data you are working with. We see some data types we have integer data type that is int we uh, integer keyword which we use uh, which we like which python uses and then we have float that is decimal numbers then we have a string which we use to store text then we have boolean values then we have list list are ordered list are ordered changeable like we can change the value of a list tuple tuple are ordered but unchangeable collection we can't change the value set set is also an ordered collection of unique items then we have dictionary dictionary are a collection of uh, dictionary is a collection of key value pairs we will have it's it you can think it is like object where we have uh, uh, multiple key value pairs so suppose if you are creating a dictionary for for person in a person we have a name we have address, we have mobile number, we have uh, multiple things. We have age, we have gender. So we can store those things in a dictionary, in a key value pairs. Then we have none type. None type, we, none type basically represents no value, none. So we'll see in, we'll see some example in the code where we will create multiple variable, we'll create a variable name. Uh, We'll, we'll take some real life uh, example. Suppose you are in, you just imagine a, a student profile form. When we when you go go to a college for admission, you have to fill a form, right? You have to uh, enter your name, your age, your percentage, you passed or not, uh, your address, your city, everything, right? So we'll just take that example, a real life example, and we'll add some variable. Suppose name. So it's a, a string. It's a string variable. It's a string. Then we'll create age. Age is a number. Int. It's an integer. Then we have marks. Suppose you got 68.99 marks total. So it's a decimal, which means float. It's a float. Then we have uh, each past. Each past true. It's a boolean. Then we have courses. Which courses you are going to apply for? Suppose you are going to apply for BTIC or BC. So it's a list. So it's a list. Then we have a student. Like a student details uh, we, we can show in a dictionary. So we can store like this name. Where name, hers, age. 25 so this is how we define variable this is how we define variable and we store data type inside it we store data inside it and to get the data type we can use the type function we can use we can use type function to check the to check the data type of any value so here also we will check the data type of the variables which we defined on the top. So as we know name is also a variable right. Name, age, marks or everything is variable where it stores some data and those data are of which type that we will um, that we will check with the type function. So we will use print to print the so in, in python we use print keyword to console something on the terminal or output. So we will use print type function variable name and then we'll use print type function variable age to check the type of variables we use type function then we'll have print type marks then we'll have print type each past then we'll have print type courses then we have print type a student now we'll run it if you see we got the output name is a string age is a int marks is a float courses 
each past is a boolean courses is a list and class uh, a student is a dictionary so you got like you understood right how we can check that fun check the data type of uh, any value using the type function so now we will learn about id function what is id function in python everything is an object right in python everything is an object we will learn about object in the uh, other lessons uh, where we have a detailed lesson on object oriented programming so in python everything is an object even numbers and strings each object has a unique identity each object has a unique identity or a memory location take it as take it as you so su suppose myself i'm residing somewhere right i'm at my home right now this home is a unique address that can't be changed this home has a unique address where currently i am suppose i am a variable i'm um, i'm a variable and i am i am staying at my home this home is an object i am the part of this object this home and this home this house has a unique address where a unique address in this city so suppose uh, your your code your complete python code is like a city your object is a home in that city is a house in that city which is having a unique address so the id so each object each object has a each object has a unique identity or address unique identity or address the id function tells us the identity number of that object the id function tells us the identity number identity number or address of that object of that object in memory okay so now we'll see the syntax or example we'll see the syntax here so suppose we have some variable age or anything anything like how permanent address suppose we are we have one variable permanent address where we are storing our address house number 5 bangalore and we want to take we want to get the address of this object permanent address means we want to get the identity number or the address of this variable or object so to get the uh, address of that object in the memory we will just do print we can see print we use the print keyword to for the console like to get the output in the console or to print it ideally the syntax is id and then we'll pass the variable name inside it variable name inside it in my case the variable name is in my case the variable name is permanent address so to get the identity to get the uh, address of this object in the memory we'll use the id keyword or id function we now we will print it now we'll run the code you can see this address right so this is what it re it returned a unique integer which represents the object's memory location now we will learn so now we will learn about immutable data types and mutable data types first we will see mutable data type mutable means changeable mutable means changeable data type so first we will learn about mutable data types what is mutable data types? a mutable object or a mutable data type is something whose value or content can be changed after it is created without changing its identity identity means address in the memory which we learned right now so we know using the id function we can identify we can get the identity number or address of that object in memory so what is mutable what is mutable in data types in python so a mutable object is something a mutable object is something whose value 
a mutable object is something is something whose value whose value can be changed whose value can be changed after it created after it created without changing its identity without changing its identity or address in memory okay so some of the examples are examples examples list dictionary set and we also have one data type that is byte array now we will see immutable data type now we will see immutable data types immutable data types so i similarly like uh, mutable object is something whose value can be changed after it created immutable types unchangeable it is unchangeable immutable object an immutable object is something an immutable object is something whose value cannot be changed cannot be changed once it is created it means once after creating a immutable data type we can't change its identity or we can't change it which can't change the value if you try to change it python creates a new object it will create a new address or identity in the memory like we can change the value of the immutable data type but we it will change its identity or address in the memory so suppose if you will see a real world i'll give you a real real world example mutable data type mute for mutable data type suppose a white board what uh, a teacher suppose a teacher is teaching something you on a white board if if the teacher will write something on the white board he can erase it and rewrite again and again that is a mutable data type he is not changing the uh, location of the white board he is just erasing what whatever it is written there written there he is just erasing and rewriting again and again without changing the location of a white board that is a mutable data type immutable data type it's like a suppose you have a printed book you have a printed book once once it is printed the words on the page cannot be changed the words on the page cannot be changed but you can change the word but again you have to reprint a new book you have to change the address you have to change the identity of identity of the book you have to create a new book you have to print a new book that is immutable data type so an immutable data type or object is something whose value cannot be changed once once it is created if you try to change it if you try to change it python creates a new object in its memory object in memory we'll see some example of immutable data type examples like int float a string tuple tuple and then we have bool these are all immutable data types hope you hope you understood it